If you are following a protocol for chronic Lyme disease, you will never get well. And here's why. Hi, I'm Tom Salt, a medical doctor and functional medicine practitioner. If treating Lyme disease were as simple as a set protocol, you would already be better. So what will get you completely well? Not a one-page protocol, a program developed and designed just for you, based on your unique genetic, epigenetic, metabolomic, mental, emotional, and spiritual uniqueness. Chronic Lyme disease is a complex illness that attacks each individual uniquely. Maybe you've been on the Cowden protocol and noticed some improvement, then switched to the Buner protocol or the Byron White or maybe the Zhang protocols. And each helped in some way, but here you are, still searching. I learned something very important early in my medical education. It was at the beginning of the AIDS crisis and the AIDS epidemic. You know, we would admit two people to the ICU with pneumonia. Each would be very sick on oxygen, IV antibiotics, lots of monitors and lines in them. Both would get better and be discharged from the ICU to the floor of the hospital to recover. And one would go on to do very well and go home. The other would be back in the ICU in just a day or so. That was the person with AIDS. Antibiotics will never clear 100% of any infection. You need a healthy immune system to sweep through every nook and cranny to get the last 10%. Just treating the bug will never get you totally well. Uh, it's important part of the treatment program, but it will never be sufficient. Okay, so if a protocol isn't going to get me well, what's going to get me well? A whole life approach. First, you need a solid diagnosis. So how is a diagnosis made? Well, if you're lucky, you'll have a positive test. Unfortunately, the truth is that for most people with chronic Lyme disease, they don't have a positive test. So you'll need a doctor without blinders. Not everyone who is sick has Lyme disease. And you need to have a workup to be sure that it's not something else. Sometimes the diagnosis of chronic Lyme disease is a diagnosis of exclusion. So that means that you need to look for and exclude other things. And there's a long differential diagnostic checklist to go through. So you can find that in the description. And chronic Lyme, uh, a condition of chronic Lyme, namely inflammation, can lead to a whole host of other issues. And again, see a list in the description. And even if it is a Lyme-related complex, you need to ask, is it a current Lyme infection? Is it a post-treatment Lyme syndrome? Is it an autoimmune attack brought on by Lyme disease? Is it the leftover ravages of prior treatment for Lyme disease? And what about co-infections? They need to be addressed as well. Many people with Lyme appear to have one or more additional bugs. They must be considered and treated in the same comprehensive fashion as the Lyme disease itself. So what about treatment? If you have current Lyme infection, you need to treat that. But for those with chronic Lyme, the bug is already displaying stealth pathology. This means that it is displaying uh, or deploying defenses to evade your immune system and antibiotic treatment. Things like biofilm production, antibiotic in different forms, cyst forms, intracellular hiding sites, and lots more. Each of these issues has to be addressed specifically. And given that most people who get Lyme disease simply fight it off like fighting off the common cold, we have to ask what is unique and different about you? You know, what are your unique antecedents? 
Antecedents are things that predispose you to illness, things like genetic variants, prior traumas, illnesses, family history, things like that. This is the, really the first step to the real treatment of chronic Lyme disease. We use tools like a timeline in the functional medicine matrix to discover not only antecedents, but triggering events and mediators. Mediators are those biochemical signaling molecules in your body that either help you get well or keep you sick. From there, we use advanced testing to look for uh, genetic, epigenetic, metabolomic, mental, emotional, and spiritual domains of wellness that need to be addressed. This process leads to a literally one in a billion approach tailored just to you, not a one-page protocol, a program developed and designed just for you based on your unique epigenetic, genetic, metabolomic, mental, emotional, and spiritual domains of wellness. That is how you treat chronic Lyme disease.